feeling out there so far? Uh, pretty good. It's the fourth day. Pretty sore. It's been hot as ever. Today was pretty cool, though. So, I'm pretty good. You're this big personality, but watching you on the field and practice, you're pretty businesslike. Is that you have a different approach there when you're, when you're between the lines? I mean, you got to know how to compartmentalize. You know, there's a time and a place for everything. So, when we're on the field, it's all business. And now this training camp, you know, we, we're getting ready for uh, a long journey. How much new technically are you learning about how to rush the passer? It seems like you guys are working a lot on, you know, hand placement, feet, how you're bending. Um, now it's about bringing everything together. Uh, you know, when you're at home training and you're doing bags or hitting drills, it's one thing. And then once you really start to, to get in that game mode, you got to start putting it together with the play calling, with the situations, and you know, with what you need to get done. When you're in those individual periods, you see Drew spend a lot of time with you. Like, what is he emphasizing to you that he wants you to work on? Um, just that, you know, good isn't enough. You know, you always want to continue to get better and, and know that no matter how hard you're working, you still haven't reached your peak. So for me to just keep, you know, sharpening my tools. What was the spring like? I mean, you didn't get to go out there and play most of the time. And is it something you still have to manage? And where are you at with that? As far as what? Being injured. Oh, yeah, no. I'm, I'm full go now. So uh, it's been great to get out there. And I've I conditioned a lot at home. So it's kind of been a, a pretty good pace, you know, coming into trying to get into football shape. What about in the spring? What was that like having to sit there? Uh, I mean. I mean, you can only do so much, but you can't actually yeah, get you, on the you field. Gotta do, you got to do what's best for you at the time. So uh, the training staff felt that it was best for me to sit out, and, you know, that's what I did. And I think it was it was good so that I could be fully healed and, you know, ready to go for uh, the future or for now. So you, you, you've talked a lot about, you know, when you were coming up and Evan was coming up, everyone said, oh, man, we want to see those two guys. Now you're out here every day. Yeah. Um, what has that been like against them? I mean, it's been great, not just him, but Andrew Thomas. Them as a, as a unit, just me being able to go back and forth, and it's like, you know, you're never, there is no plays off. People ask me what is the biggest difference between now and, I mean, between college and NFL, and it's like, you have to be 100% and have a move every play, right? There is no, you know, getting by. So just going against both of them, and Evan especially, is just, it's good to continue to grow and, you know, share, you know, uh, info every now and again. Do you look at YouTube because of where you were drafted? different sides of the ball, almost like you're linked in some ways? Definitely. Um, you obviously, football is a game of trenches, you know, and, and start with the trenches was a great uh, choice by the, the men upstairs, and they they did it, and I feel like, you know, as we continue to get older and, and mature, we're going to continue to grow and, and gel together and keep bringing both sides to, you know, the, the forefront. Okay. At your position, should we be judging what we see so far, or should we wait till the pants come on? Uh, you. For all the whole front line, you really have to judge when the pads come on because there's a there's a different type of play. You know, we can't really bull rush. We can't use all our moves, and then we gotta hold up on the quarterback. So knowing that, I'd rather you know lose a rep than get yelled at by Dave. So, <laughs> so you know, we, we we try to stay off the quarterback, and we do, you know, we we, we want to keep everybody healthy. That's that's it. How excited are you for Monday? Oh no, I'm very excited. You know, there's a lot of things that you're as a pass rusher, as a defensive guy, you're not able to do without pads, right? And they all, you know, offense has that the baggy jerseys, you can just pull on them. So now, it'll, you know, it'll be more of a fair game and, and, you know, I'll be able to use all the moves that I've been working on. You said about pulling up. I know that's a mental thing I mean, really at any level, but when you hit a good move, yeah. uh, like yesterday, you hit an inside move against Andrew, and then you know right away it's, all right, hold up, hold up. How much are you convincing you are almost stopping your instincts? Because, look, it's practice, but you hit a great move. You almost want to finish it off. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that invert. You know, say they say like bulls see red. It's like when we see red, we gotta run away. So when you see that red jersey, you know to stop. Even if it's like I'm bull. No matter what I'm doing, you gotta stop when you see that red jersey. So it's kind of like training yourself for now to still get your work and you know, you know, do it on air and just let them throw. You know, let everybody else get work. How would you describe Wink's message or approach to your defense on how he wants you guys to play and come into this camp? Because it seems like you guys are loud. Like you're like you're out to win every day. As well. uh, communication is key. It's competing. Um, you know, everybody's competing for a job, and you know we're all competing to be better. So as long as we continue to compete and continue to uh, grow as a team and communicate, you know we'll be good. Well, then working with Jihad, and like it seems like he's the guy who's very vocal. He said in the spring he was going to kind of be on you. Yeah, he he's definitely super vocal. I mean, Hadi is he is who he is, and for for me the greatest thing that he does he doesn't just talk about it. You know, he's a guy who's going to run. 80 yards down the field, even when the play is over, and go, you know, get a shot on goal. So he's a guy who just always puts the work in, and, and you have a, a standard to look up to, right? So there is no excuse. What have you been able to learn from Leonard over 
uh, the past couple of weeks? Just the, the preparation, right? You got to find a routine when you're coming through. You know, you're going into camp, you're sore, and everything's going on. So he's really been helping me, you know, figure out the figure out my own uh, routine so that I can, you know, prepare myself. How many sacks, do you, think, how many sacks do you think you've had so far? Say it again. If you were allowed to hit the quarterback, how many sacks do you think you would have had? So far? Uh, you got to check the tape. Uh, you know, I don't. Without for me, for me, honestly. I don't really count the sacks, I count the moves. So I, it's all about execution at the end of the day. So, you know, obviously finishing is a part of execution, but now I really just want to get better and make sure like the, the little things are good within those rushes. With, those, with, with that process, do you find yourself now throughout camp playing through processing? Uh, you're not really playing fast yet. Are you still, you know, kind of figure out how things um, are? I wouldn't really say I'm processing. I, I get what you're saying, but I wouldn't really say it's processing because I know the plays and I know what I'm supposed to do. As far as looking at how do I grade myself, I grade myself on the execution of moves, right? So today, I didn't have the biggest execution on the moves that I wanted, so it wasn't a good day. Even though I was working hard and got, I probably got to the quarterback a couple times, I still like to, to you know, really sharpen it and, and hold myself to a high standard. Was there any particular move you're working on today? Um, I just get them off me, you know, Andrew and, and Evan, they got big hands and they're heavy up top, so just making sure I'm using my second move and I'm, you know, really working hard and, when they get me on that first move, I, I got another one to you know counter. What was that last month like for you? You had a chance to go home. Uh, was it different now that you show up in your first round pick, you know, number fifth overall pick, or is it kind of the same because you were already you you're, you were sort of already elevated while? And what you know, aspect? To, you mean like the training or what you, just like everything? Like you know, people around you, the people uh, look, view you differently. Like, what was it like? For yeah, people definitely view me differently. I got a lot of love. You know, I'm from LA, so it's, it's a big city. A lot of people already know me, and I, I still train it. You know, everywhere I train now is where I used to train before. So, um, seeing a lot of people that you know I used to play with or that coach me or you know, they they really do uh, believe in me. So it, I was a proud moment for me, and then just knowing I got to keep going. This is just a milestone, and now you know, all the work is still ahead to be put in. Just coming in. Does coming into the NFL is sort of like an NIL athlete. You already, you know, had stuff beforehand, right? From that, from that side, from the business perspective, does that make it any different for you to come here into the locker room? The guys look at you different. Uh, as, what do you mean? I think you're further along probably on the business side because you were able to capitalize on the, the NIL stuff before you came here than maybe everybody else here. Well, I think you know. I kind of think that's a what do you call it, a framed question? I feel like, you know, one thing that a lot of guys do not do are put themselves in that crabs in a barrel mentality, right? Everybody's pretty much focused on what they have to do individually. So when I came in, I, I don't think, I think everybody really judged me for who I am once they got to know me. You know, it's not really a big, uh, the media is not in the locker room and social is not in the locker room and whatever you're doing outside the locker room isn't really in. So just for me being able to really show who I was and get to know guys, it's, it's been great. A lot of rookies come into That's camp, and the first goal is to make the team. You and Evan have come in, and you first round draft picks, and you're starting running with the ones. Do you get a sense of how much they're counting on you? Um, yeah. Uh, you know, one thing about me, I've always uh, been so hard on myself, and I've been a stickler. So uh, they, they have articulated that they're counting on us, but I'm counting on myself to, you know, make the plays and and live up to those goals that I have for myself. So it's it's been a, a great journey so far and I know that they believe in us and they've, they've given us all the tools to continue to elevate so now it's just up to us to make it happen.